This is BMW's C650 GT scooter. It's one of three scooters that import South Africa. And for a first for car magazine, we had a test bike or scooter on our long-term fleet for six months. The aim was to see, would you actually swap your car for one of these? Would you actually save fuel and regarding maintenance costs, how much would it be to maintain a scooter of this size? So this is a wrap-up video of our six months with the C650 GT. The GT is rather well kitted out in terms of luxury and features. To start off with, you've got the electrically adjustable screen. So it's currently in its lowest position, so you can take it up all the way, and that actually helps a lot, especially on the highway. We've got a full trip computer. It shows you tire pressures, front and rear, temperature, as well as your average speed. Then you've got heated seats, front and rear, as well as heated grips. Secondly, there's the little two luggage compartments. So there's my keys, front, right, and to the left, a different size, a bit bigger. Very useful cell phone, wallet, that sort of thing. Towards the rear, you've got the heated seats for the pillion, which is actually one of the most comfortable pillion seats we've experienced. And then if you open it up, there's today's clothes, as well as my laptop bag with charger and everything. As we joke in the office, you can really fit in your laptop bag, a bread, a two litre Coke, and a one litre milk on your way home. So in terms of comfort and practicality, this is one of the unique selling points of the scooter. On the road, the scooter was extremely comfortable and relaxing to drive. There's a CVT transmission, which is like similar to that what you get in some motor cars. So no clutch, no gears to change, just a throttle and front and rear brake. So very easy to ride. Secondly, it's a very heavy bike. Fully fueled, the tip out scales at 264 kilograms. So not the scooter you buy as a beginner. But even though it's heavy, it gets off the line fairly quickly and there's a sort of slipping clutch effect up to about 35, 40 kilometers per hour. But from then on, it really pulls. And on the highway, it will easily maintain the legal speed limit. And if you encounter slow moving traffic, you can easily overtake it. So overall, easy to ride, but yeah, not for a beginner. So in summary then, the C650 GT. It was very practical, it was very comfortable, especially due to the additional back seat and the support here. It wasn't that fuel efficient though. We average about 5.6 to 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers, which is not a lot less than that of a small A-segment car. Another issue is the maintenance cost on the scooter. When we took it in for its only service during its six months tenure with us, it cost 2,000 Rand. And the service technician explained to me that the 20 and 40,000 kilometer service will be exceptionally higher. So it's not a cheap motorcycle scooter to maintain. Having said that, it's very comfortable, it's got ABS brake, it's safe, it's practical, which is some of its main highlights. But to run and maintain, it is a bit of an expensive vehicle.